Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. This is Sharani. Today I'm going to show you how to make salsa verde two different ways. Okay, so for this recipe, you're going to need some tomatillos. That's the main ingredient to make a salsa verde. And if you've never seen or handled a tomatillo before, it has this papery husk on the outside and you have to take that off. And when you take it off, it's going to feel a little bit sticky. So you're going to have to wash them really good. Okay, I'm just going to wash these up really good and I'll be back with the other ingredients. Okay, so I'm using four tomatillos for this recipe and that's roughly about half pound. I'm using one jalapeno and I took the stem off. One serrano pepper and I took the stem off also. A quarter of an onion. One clove of garlic and some cilantro. I'm going to put everything in this pot except the cilantro. I'm going to put some water in the pot, just enough to cover everything and then I'm going to bring this to a boil. And once this come to a boil, I'm going to lower the heat to medium and let this boil for 10 minutes. Halfway through, I like to go in there and turn over the peppers. Just because of the way they are shaped, it seems like they're only boiling on one side. Okay, now that the 10 minutes is up, I'm just going to take them out and put them on my plate and let them cool off a bit before I blend it. Now that everything is nice and cool, I'm going to put it in my blender. And then I'm going to add a quarter teaspoon of salt to that. I like to pulse it to get it going and then I blend it for about 2 minutes or so or until everything is well blended. If you're new to my channel, welcome and thank you for stopping by. And if you haven't subscribed yet, I would appreciate it if you would consider subscribing. And be sure to click the notification bell so you know when I upload new videos. I love love salsa verde. I could eat this on anything and everything. Oh my gosh, this is just so good. And it's so pretty. Now, if you want your salsa verde hotter, you can put more pepper in it. But I didn't put a whole lot because my hubby doesn't like to eat a lot of spicy food like I do. I mean, if I was making this for myself, I would definitely put a lot more pepper. But he doesn't like it, so I make it this way. But it's still spicy, you know. So, for those people that don't like a lot of pepper, this would be the perfect amount of spice for you. Okay, so let's make the other one. This one I'm going to put in the oven and I'm going to broil it. So I'm doing the same amount of ingredients, everything except the cilantro. I like to put down some foil on my baking sheet because that just makes for easy cleanup. And plus you don't ruin your pan that way. Broil this for about 10 minutes or so. 
but keep an eye on them and keep turning them as soon as you see it's starting to char on one side then you turn them over but it will take about 8 to 10 minutes the high heat from the oven made my pan warped a little bit but after I took it out and was finished and it got cool it went back to its normal shape you want to keep an eye on your garlic because that will brown up before anything so I always take that out first before anything else if you haven't been following me on Instagram yet you can do so at cooking with Shirani I'm always sharing stuff in my stories over there, so come follow me. Okay, now it's ready. I'm just going to take everything off and put them on my plate to cool off a bit before I blend it. Okay, now I'm just going to blend this and I'm going to add a quarter teaspoon of salt to this. Again, I'm just going to pulse this to get it going and then I'm going to blend it. And this one took a little bit longer to blend just because everything it's not so soft as if you boil it. So blend this for about 3 minutes or so or until everything is well blended. With this one you'll want to open up your blender and check it because like I said it's not as soft so it will take a little bit longer to blend and you just want to make sure you get everything nice and blended. So there it is, look how beautiful that is. I wanted to put them side by side so you can see the comparison. The one on the left as you can see it's really smooth and I think when you boil it that it loses some of its flavor and some of the spiciness but when you broil it that intensifies the flavor. It's much more spicy and I feel like you could just taste everything so much better. And also the one on the right is a little bit thicker. If I had to pick one, I would pick the one on the right. The one that I broiled in the oven. That's my favorite one. But my husband likes the one on the left. So, you know, you can try them out and see which one you like best but they're both so good it's hard to decide which one well I really hope you enjoyed this one if you did please give it a thumbs up every thumbs up helps to get my videos out there and as always thank you so so much for watching thank you for subscribing if you haven't yet subscribed please don't forget to do that and I'll talk to you in my next one take care bye